Alright guys, my name is Frank and welcome back to Forza Horizon 3. Now, you guys have been heavily, heavily requesting me to do a Mazda MX-5 build, but I thought I may as well do something a little bit different than what I normally do. Now, I was planning to make this a drift build, but I thought to myself, why not make it a race build, because these things are pretty damn competitive in real life racing, so that is what we're going to do. We're going to make this a little lightweight race car. So, yeah, as I said, something a little bit different from what we normally do here on the channel. But if you guys want to see more of it, then please do let me know by leaving a comment or a like. So, yeah, I'm interested in seeing what engine choices we actually get for this. I'm not going to make it stupidly powerful or anything like that, because the MX-5 is quite a lightweight car. So, I don't really know. I think we'll be keeping the stock one right now, because I love it in the 1.5 litre version, but it's also got a 2 litre version, but the 1.5, I think you kind of need to, like, work your arse off a little bit more to freaking get it going a bit. So it's rear wheel drive already, but what we might do is add a little turbo to it. That takes us up from 155 to 216 horsepower. It's pretty damn crazy, so what we will do is fit that. And the spoiler options and stuff like that, it's just the Forza Aero, I've took a look through that as well. Not exactly my cup of tea on this car. Now, I have seen a couple of these new Mazda MX-5s, I can't remember what the code name actually is for this one, but it's such a good looking car, definitely my favourite looking Mazda MX-5 to date, because it's like a little mini... I'm trying to think what it looks like. It's a bit like a little mini Maserati, if you think about it. It has that sort of Maserati-style front end, if you know what I mean? The big bulging bonnet and sort of kind of angular front end, kind of like the Gran Turismo. It's quite nice. It is very, very nice indeed. So I'm tempted by these Horizon tyres, but at the same time, I don't know if it actually goes with the car, because we might be putting a little bit of a race livery onto this. Um... I'm thinking now, actually, they don't look too bad, but we're going to leave it. We're going to leave it and put it on the normal ones. So give us the widest tyres possible. That isn't exactly what you call massively wide, 245. Mm, new, 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 255s in the rear. So relatively okay. Not the best, but I wish it did have bigger actual tyres to give us more grip. So the rims we'll be using is these I can never pronounce these rims, so I'm not going to, so I think it just suits the car very, very nicely. I like that. And in terms of size, we shall probably bump them up to 18 inches on both front and rear. There we go, not looking too bad. Now, we will be entering some races in this thing, guys. I know a lot of you have been asking for that as well, but yeah, expect to see... A lot of new things coming in 2017. As I said, I will have a video out on Christmas Eve. It was originally meant to be today, but I was kind of in the mood to do this build. So, yeah. It'll be tomorrow you can expect that, guys. It's just going to be a nice little chatty video. Just me talking about things that will be coming next year. So, if you have anything that you want to see next year, then just let us know in the comment section below. Because I'm always open to you guys' opinion. I will be playing more games as well. Uh, next year so you'll get a better variety too so yeah it's going to be a lot of fun it's going to be a lot of fun so we're on to the handling now just trying to make sure we've got everything that we need i'm very tempted by that actually that gives it a proper race car feel um shall we go for that guys i think we might actually Let's see, two seconds, I'm trying to think, how much does that affect us by in terms of weight? Another 30 odd pounds in it? Hmm. I don't actually know. Fuck it, you know what, we'll go for it. We will go for it. It does add like a little racing touch to it, is it? But I've seen the new kind of speedster version of this, guys. It looks freaking amazing. I mean, I thought the previous generation speedster was freaking good looking, but no, this one is even better, I think. So, there we go. Even with the fly, we were getting a lot of weight taken out. So, as I said, I don't want to go overpowered with this thing. 400 is probably enough for this. Let's see, 247. I don't know, because when you put so much power in like a really, really lightweight car like this, 
it just becomes an absolute madman. Like, for example, the aerial atom. That's pretty damn crazy too, so... Uh, I don't really know what to go for here. It doesn't look like we're going to get much power out of the stock engine. Shall we make it 300? I don't know, actually. 316. What happens if we put, like, one bit of camshaft up? 360 horsepower. That doesn't sound too shabby. I think we'll leave it at that. 360 horsepower for a little lightweight race car. That'll be quite a lot. So I think we'll head into the paint shop right now. So I've ended up picking this one, guys. It kind of stood out the most for me in terms of kind of like racing liveries and just liveries in general. It's quite nice, man. Something a little bit different because, as I've always said, I don't normally put liveries on my car in builds because I like to make them look clean, but this is a relatively nice, clean racing livery, so what we're going to do is maybe a few races around Surfers Paradise and then a couple in Byron Bay. So here we are at our first racing event, guys. It is the Skyline View Circuit in Surfers Paradise. We're going up against a lot of other JDM cars in the little Mazda, and I think it looks really, really good from what you can see right here. But what I've done is I've challenged myself a little bit. I have turned off the driving line. I normally only put the braking only version of that on, but the game's been nice to us. We're starting in the front, and I'm going to keep it in mostly cockpit view for this episode, guys. Just lets me focus a wee bit more, and plus, kind of makes you feel like you're properly in the race, doesn't it? But my god, the acceleration on this thing. 360 horsepower in a very, very lightweight car like this. As I said, you're expected to get quite freaking mad acceleration. Okay, thanks for putting a freaking lamppost in my face. Freaking CP Nissan Drifter. Let's see if we can overtake him. Break, 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 sonny boy. The little Mazdas get good brakes. Now, my problem is, because I'm not much of a racer, I'm trying to change that. Um, it's my throttle control. I've not got very, very good throttle control. I like to just mash it out of the corners. But I'm trying my best. Practice makes perfect, guys, doesn't it? See right beside me. Yes, he is. Bugger, bugger, bugger. But this little circuit is very, very fun indeed. Obviously, not good much in the way of terms of variations, just like quite a level circuit, not really much gradients and stuff like that, but it's still quite fun. It's still pretty damn fun. Fifth gear along here, nearly hitting a hundred oh my god, 155 down there. Oh my god. Try my best to not take out anybody's wheelie bins. Bit low of a gear there, that was my fault. Just revving the little Mazda. It's like, kill me! Tell me what you're doing. Change gear, please. So we've got the little golden boy right behind us. Let's see if we can keep this consistency up, that would be good. Now, I've got to mention the driver tours are on Pro, I believe. So, they are putting up a little bit of a challenge. They're keeping up. Oh, God. <laughs> little bit sideways yet again. Jesus Christ, that was probably my most feared thing about this car. Because we all know the little Mazda MX-5 likes to get its arse out. That's why I like it, but when you're trying to make it a race build, ooh, <laughs> it's a little bit on the twitchy side, that's what I've got to say. Oh my god. Maybe I should tweak the anti-roll bars a little bit, because this is completely stock in terms of tune. Kind of want to make that the interesting thing about this series. I don't want to tune the cars, I just want to kind of like shove the handle and, and power upgrades into it and see how they do. This gives it that little, that little, um, extra spice. Yes, it does. Extra spice. Not knowing that I've not tuned the car, just like, it just comes out of the factory like this, if you know what I mean. Out of the, the build like this. It's not, not bad in terms of noise either. It's not the best thing ever. And them turbos. Now it sounds like canaries have been sucked up in yet. So like, fuck you! I know, I know, I know canaries don't sound like that, but you know what I mean. It's like little tweets and everything. Oh my god. I'm seriously impressed with the way this thing actually pulls, man. Very, very good in terms of gears. And gear length, I should say. Yeah, first race, I'm just 
I'm genuinely impressed with this little car, man. I mean, it's a Mazda MX-5, so what do you expect? Bloody hell, I really enjoyed myself on that one. So where did everyone else place? We get Tomcat in third place in another MX-5. We get Mango down there in sixth. We get Alex in seventh place. Okay, okay. Good first race. Are we going to get it? No. I'm actually really falling in love with that roll cage in the back, man. It's a nice little touch. It's very good. Don't know if we're going to get a level up, though, because I just get a level up before recording this video. Be nice, though. Yes, we are! Come on! I really want the Corvette. Give me the Corvette Horizon Edition, please. One RS4 would be good. Come on. Yes! There we are! Oh my god, first good race. And now we've got an RS4. Come on, sonny boy. Alrighty then, so on to the next race, and we have moved to the Outback, and it is the North Plains Sprint. A nice little sprint race. I've done this one before while I've not been recording. Very, very fun indeed. And as you can see, I have set it for it to be raining slightly, so it's going to be quite interesting to see how this little thing fares with the littlest traction. Now we could have put it on like heavy rain, but I didn't want to do that, considering most of these things are freaking rear wheel drive cars. Okay, it's already starting. Bloody hell, I really need to be on my A game for the freaking throttle control in this one. Oh my god. It's really wobbly, man. Really wobbly. Holy shit. We're catching. But there's a corner coming up, though. That's the problem. Luckily, I do know my way around this. A wee bit. Fucking hell. Oh, are we going to do in the drift section? I think we're going to do in the drift section. Yes, don't get distracted, Frank. Don't get distracted. Ugh. Oh my god. Bloody hell. <laughs> Oh, it certainly doesn't like the freaking sudden change of direction there. Oh my god, this wee thing's a twitcher. And I'm not talking about the freaking gaming site. Oh my god. I think the higher gears would probably do this thing in terms of the rain. Ugh, stop drifting, you mental Mazda! Oh my god! It's terrifying! I'm only trying to get a clean race in here. Right, we're on a relatively straightish road right now. Could make up some time. No, come on! Sorry, mate, and your little gold Mazda. This is actually a lot of fun, guys. I mean, as I say, if you want to see more of these, then fucking let me know, because I'm having a lot of fun. Oh, shit! <laughs> the little Hyundai is freaking blocking me. And yeah, that's what I call it here in Scotland, Hyundai. I think you guys over in America call it Hyundai, don't you? It, there's quite a lot of pronunciation for it. There's Hyundai, there's Hyundai, and there's Hyundai. I think there is, but I call it I call it Hyundai. Everyone to their own, really. It's like tomato, tomato. Ooh, shit. It's just like Peugeot as well, or Peugeot. I mean, I call it Peugeot. <laughs> Because I had a comment, a, not a few videos ago, but it was a while back, saying Peugeot, I've never heard anyone say that before, but Welcome to Scotland, we have our own terms for everything Come on, Mazda! Give me power Give me all that 360 horsepower that you've got Right, we're catching good time here, we're catching Alex is out in front Only got a couple of corners to go, can we get them on the inside? Yes, we can oh, Thank God we didn't freaking ruin that checkpoint there Oh yes, we just got Alex in the last corner. Woo! Now, that was quite a terrifying race, man. Quite a short race, but quite a terrifying one in terms of the twitchiness in the rain, so... I need to watch myself with this little thing. Bloody hell, man. That was... That was an experience, I've got to say that. Now, I'm saving up to get the like in Hypersport, guys, but I do believe it is coming in a couple of weeks, I think it's like the end of January for um, a forza because I just got the Bentley GT3, so I might do a video on that soon. Excuse me. Oh my god, I've been drinking too much Sprite today. I do apologise. 
Can we get it? Yes! Finally! Finally! Oh my god, we're doing so good in this episode in terms of wheel spins. I have been waiting for this one since the start of Horizon 3. Thank you, the gods of wheel spins today. Thank you so much. Alrighty then, on to the last race of the video. And we have came to the rainforest area for a very, very good little circuit. Three laps with the Mazda. And thank God it's not in the rain this time, because I changed the settings. So we're going to do this race on the outside view, just to give a little bit of variation in terms of the cameras. Mango in front of us in the Supra. Alex in his own car, a Mazda RX-8. Oh, fucking hell. Bloody hell. <laughs> now this track is very, very good in terms of elevation changes. So, a little Mazda. Oh my God, okay. <sighs> we ran wide in a... Supre supremely there. I was trying to find a word for that. God's sake. Whoa, bloody hell. But it's really, really not coping well with these fucking sudden gradient changes. Even 360 horsepower in this, I think's a bit too much. I think it would be happy with like, even 250 horsepower. Because you really, really, really need to keep it in the higher gears if you want to even get an ounce of traction down. And bear in mind these are on race tyres, but they're not the widest race tyres that you can get. Could have been a bit quicker through that corner there. Can we get him on the inside? Yes, we can. Throttle control, Frankie boy. Use it. Use it, sonny boy. We've been in fourth gear like half a lap now. Need to change for third. Don't drift, don't drift. <laughs> I know it's a little master and it wants to get freaking sideways like it was naturally meant to do, but... Hell. It doesn't need to be so sudden and violent about it. Hey, Alex is done with. Now we need the Aussie Mango. There we go. Oh, Metberg's in this race as well. Fuck. Okay, we're going to get stoned. Not stoned in the sense of getting high, but literally stoned by him. Yeah, I'm just going to engage sheer power now. If we can these corners. The Hyundai. The Hyundai? Should we call it a Honda? I'm like, what the fuck? Right, okay. No more Mr. Nice Mazda. We're gonna need to be a little bit dirty. That depends if we can catch up with this guy. I'll even accept podium position for this. Oh, okay. A wee bit off the ground. Understeer! That's major understeer. Oh, it does not like that corner. Fucking hell. Don't even give me, give me like third position. Fuck. Okay, we're going to need to rewind that one. Ah, damn. Because <laughs> I'm not freaking taking fourth place in this behind. Come on, you son of a bitch. Give me the power, give me the power, give me the power. <laughs> oh, come on! Come on! Oh no! <laughs> oh, that was quite a tough wee race, man. How close was that? Ooh, by the skin of his teeth. By the skin of his teeth. It's the exact same fucking time at all. Oh man, that fucking sucks. It was good though. It's good. You can't you can't win everything, can you? That's the way I look at it. You can't win everything, but Forza being Forza, it's nice enough to give you money anyway if you lose, which is very nice of them indeed. Come on, give us another wheel spin. I don't think we're going to get it. No, we're not. It's like, fuck you, you didn't win that race that time. You can't do it. I'm going to like this design. Definitely check out the design on this car, guys. Very, very, very well done. So that is going to do it, guys, for the little race car build of the MX-5. I really had a lot of fun doing this. I cannot wait to make another one. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. And if you have, remember to leave a like on the video. It does really, really help out. And uh, Mr. Boosty is having a little bit of a problem with a rock. I'll help you out, mate, if I can. I don't think the, I don't think the Mazda's freaking powerful enough to freaking move you or heavy enough. Oh, wait a minute. Be free, Skyline! Okay, I think, he's just, I think he's just giving up on life. He's like, fuck. I'm going to stare at a rock for eternity now. <laughs> but yeah, subscribe to the channel if you are brand new, guys, and share it around with your friends. Also, 
you want to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and that, then the links are in the description below. But as, you, as I told you earlier on, you can expect the my plans for 2016 or 2017, you fucking idiots, 2016 now, uh, as the next video tomorrow on Christmas Eve. So, yep. I'll see you then from me and the little magnificent Mazda. Bye-bye.